the lost camel. The king of Persia learnt that his neighbour, the king of Pachu, was building a new palace. Not to be outdone, he called three of his ministers and informed them of his decision to build a grand new palace. He asked the ministers, Tell me how to collect more money from the people. The worried ministers tried to advise the king. The first minister said, Sir, your people are mostly farmers. They will suffer if they have to pay more. The second minister explained, Moreover, this is the season for ploughing and sowing, and the farmers cannot leave their lands. This is a fine palace, the third minister pointed out, and you are a great and beloved ruler. Your people are happy. Let the king of Pachu build his new palace, sir. The king got angry and banished his ministers. As the ministers made their way out of the city, the second minister said, Look, a camel has gone ahead of us on the road. Soon a man came running. Have you seen a camel anywhere? he asked. I've lost my camel. Is your camel lame in one leg? asked the third minister. Yes, he is, replied the man. Is your camel blind in one eye? asked the second minister. Yes. Was your camel carrying a load of honey and wheat? asked the first minister. Yes, where did you see him? he asked. We haven't seen your camel, said the third minister. The man became angry and accused them of stealing his camel. He said, If you don't give my camel back, I'll take you to the king. The ministers agreed, and all of them went to the king. The king heard the man's complaint and ordered his ministers to return the camel to the owner. But, sir, we have not seen this man's camel, said the first minister. Now the king became angry and called them liars. One by one, the men explained that they had not seen the camel but had merely noticed some detail which helped them to describe the missing camel. We noticed a camel's hoof marks on the road. Three of those marks were always clear, but the fourth wasn't. So we could tell that the camel was lame in one leg, said the second minister. Some animal had nibbled the leaves on one side of the road only. So we knew it was blind in one eye, explained the third minister. There were many flies on one side of the road, said the first minister, and a few grains of wheat on the other. So we thought it must have been carrying honey and wheat. The king was convinced about their innocence and ordered the man to find his camel himself. He asked his ministers to remain with him to help him rule wisely.